Welcome back to another video. So last week you had seen me create these two photos right here and today I'm going to create this photo. So if you're interested in seeing the process of that then just keep on watching. So my inspiration today is pretty much going to be inspired by this photographer that I found through Pinterest. So I looked through this guy's portfolio, his name is Vincent Borland, and he does a whole bunch of surreal portraits as well, but not self-portraits, but nonetheless his work is amazing. I kind of found him through this one other really amazing surreal photographer named Joel Robinson, and I have been following this guy since the good old Flickr days. I fell in love with the surreal portraits and I saw this one photo, I'll put it up here because I don't want to make it seem like this photo is like the idea of it is entirely mine because it's not. So I'm going to do my own special take on that type of photo. I'm going to kind of pizzazz my own type of style into this thing. Yeah, so the idea that I am having is pretty much I will be taking a portrait of myself with a cracked open book laying on top of my head like so and make it act as a roof in a way and I will be photoshopping some chimneys atop that roof with some clouds of smoke coming out and then I will also be holding a birdhouse in my arms uh, Actually, this one right here. Uh, this was something that I found in the like dollar aisle in Target circa 2017 or so. I haven't really used this thing at all, even though that's why I bought it in the first place. But here it is, and I'm going to try and Photoshop like a, a dove flying out of it. Uh, doves are a reoccurring element in a lot of my serial portraits. I just I just like photoshopping doves into my photos. I, they are easy to edit in and I feel like just like with last video self-portraits where I edited in goldfish to kind of fill up that empty space, I also like doing that with doves. So yeah, that is the plan for today. So this part of my bookshelf is dusty as hell but I'm going to be looking for um, some book about the right thickness and with the right amount of pages that I think would serve best in the photo. I'm thinking about this guy right here. The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulin. Is anybody else familiar with this storybook? I feel like this book. It was one that I got in elementary school, I think, and it's a really pretty book. It has photos in them, illustrations, and I just feel like it's a really beautiful story. Uh, it features this one rabbit who is pretty much a, a doll for this boy, but he becomes lost and he's kind of tossed around and around trying to find his way back to the boy and along the way he becomes the doll of many other children around but yeah it's kind of it's kind of tragic for a kid's story because it's honestly quite depressing because 
never mind <laughs> i don't want to spoil it i remember i really loved this book because it was kind of the only book that i think i've ever like buddy read with my mom uh i was never really read stories as a kid not really anything too sad but i have pretty good memories with this because we both read it together and so i've kept this book over the years oh yeah also you might be familiar with this author kate de camelo she's the one who wrote that story about uh, that mouse I'm trying to remember the name the tale of despero yes and because of Dixie. wow true og childhood classics Okay, so I decided to move this outdoors. This is me like a few hours later when the sun has set down a bit more. Yeah, so this is my setup. Here's my camera. And I'm moving the shoots outdoors because I, I wasn't feeling the other one. I wasn't too fond of the photo I took earlier in my house. So yeah, going to my backyard is like the easiest access to having a more nature-y feel to my photos. I just got finished shooting. Uh, I love these photos so much better than the ones that I took inside my house. But uh, yeah, at first I was kind of self-conscious about my neighbors probably seeing me. But honestly, I think they've seen me do weirder concepts in my backyard before from like back in high school. But yeah, something that I learned over the years is to not be too shy when going out to shoot in public. I know this is just my backyard, but I've gone to like beaches and parks before, like public parks, and I find that even though I'm quite self-conscious, especially when I'm going out by myself, 
uh, it's pretty rewarding in the end and to just stop thinking about what other people are thinking um, stop thinking you're too weird or anything I literally put a book on my head just now and if anybody asks me I'm just gonna say that I'm doing an art project and they just smile so yeah <laughs> I look so grumpy <laughs> this is me making a jump in the air because I just wanted more of my torso in the photo and I was too lazy to go and move the camera since uh, I had set the shooting mode to continuous so it was just like flashing the whole time and <laughs> editing the photo uh, I'm kind of iffy with it I would say out of five stars I am only satisfied three stars um, but I guess <laughs> that's not the point yeah thank you so much for watching um, I might try and do some sort of different type of video next time maybe a tutorial of some sort because I'm kind of scared that this content is gonna get old soon or just <laughs> boring thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more of my work i have an instagram you can follow me there i also have a website for if you want to check out more of my portfolio or if you want to send me any inquiries yeah all right well thank you <laughs> bye